Hello there, and welcome to this part of the music lesson. So for those of you who haven't heard, sea shanties are the soundtrack of 2021. Soon may the waterman come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. This has to be one of the most wholesome and educationally rich um, viral trends of the uh, internet era. So I thought I'd take up the opportunity to teach you a little bit about the sea shanty and then we're going to have our own opportunity to sing the Wellerman together. How exciting. Take a leave and go. So, uh, sea shanties, you may not know, but they are originally work songs. So songs that sailors would sing to help them with their work. And the whole idea of the sea shanty is based on call and response. So that means that the, the main sailor, called the shanty man, how cool is that? The shanty man would sing a call and then the rest of the crew would respond. And this would all be in time for them doing some work. Um, so we're going to look at a couple of examples of actual sea shanties that were sung and, and recorded on boats um, where they were actually helping people do work on, um, on various ships. I've taken some examples from another YouTube video of um, a fantastic YouTuber who I watch a lot of and he made a video about the music theory of sea shanties. It's a little bit advanced for you, um, probably, although maybe check it out if you'd like to. He's called Adam Neely. Um, but he's, he's got some great examples in his videos of some sea shanties, so I'm going to show you a few of those now. Jigs like 6 8. A bottle of rum and a bottle of gin and a bottle of Irish whiskey. Oh, so where are I in the morning? The sailor likes his bottle of And generally major scale melodies and major pentatonic melodies. Oh, a Yankee ship come down the river. Oh, boys, go. But this oh, the dawn another day. Rolling down the bay to Juliet now. Call away and get your pay. Rolling down the bay to Juliet now. Antiman. Hurrah, hurrah for young Sally Racket. Followed by two bars of a response from the crew with two strong musical accents per chorus. Power away, power away. Oh, hurrah, hurrah for young Sally Racket. Power away, power away. Oh, Mr. The SpongeBob SquarePants theme would work quite well as a halyard shanty. Who lives in the pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants. All on the bowling, homeward we are going. All on the bowling, the bowling home. So you'll see that the rhythm of those shanties um, are all a bit different, fitting with the type of work that they would have been used for. So The Weller Man is a song which has risen to huge fame recently through the platform TikTok. But it's actually a very old song. Um, and it's not actually a sea shanty because it's not a work song and it wouldn't have been used for pulling and working to. But it is um, almost a sea shanty because it's a, a, a folk song about the sea. And um, this song was probably written in about 1860 or 1870 in New Zealand because there was a whaling company there called the Weller Brothers and this is what the Weller Man refers to because people would go whaling, which is hunting for whales, on these big ships and um, supply ships would come out from the Weller Brothers with sugar and tea and rum and that's what the song means when it says soon may the Weller Man come to bring us sugar and tea and rum because they would um, long for these things on their ships where they you know would be living off very little food when supplies got low and it would be quite tough out there on the ocean just to explain the rest of the lyrics in the chorus soon when the tonguing is done what that actually means is um, when you've got the fat off the whale um, the blubber you, you did it in strips and, and so it was called tonguing because they're like long strips of, of blubber. So there you go. As you may know, this song is most popular on the platform TikTok where people use the duet function to sing along with the um, original version. 
And there was the most famous one is um, a postman from Scotland called Nathan Evans, and he recorded it on uh, December the 27th, and then loads of people started adding their part to his, and it got bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, until I think now it's uh, number three in the charts, so it's kind of gone massive. So we're going to do our own version of that song, Woohoo, using his original um, recording and video, and we're going to layer three parts on top of that. So next week we're going to be recording this song in a TikTok style, and, and I'm going to make a big cool video over half term with uh, all of your faces on it singing along in the chorus or if you'd like a voice recording only that's fine but obviously you only your voice will be on the video so this week what I'd like you to do is to practice the song and you need to pick the part that you're going to sing so there's the tune which is the easiest one because it's it's the main tune which you may know already and then there are two harmony parts and what I'd like you to do on seesaw is to res respond to the task just simply saying which um, part you're going to sing just so I can check and see that they're roughly even and then it's going to sound good when you record them next week so just respond to the task saying tune harmony one or harmony two great enjoy bye